Now it came to pass in the sixty and ninth year of the reign of the judges over the Nephites, that Nephi, the son of Helaman, returned to the land of Zarahemla from the land northward. For he had been forth among them, and they did reject all his words, insomuch that he returned again unto the land of his nativity. And Nephi's heart was swollen with sorrow because of the wickedness of this people in Zarahemla. And Nephi, seeing the people in a state of such awful wickedness, and those Gadianton robbers filling the judgment seats, having usurped the power and authority of the land, condemning the righteous because of their righteousness, letting the guilty and the wicked go unpunished because of their money. Really? And moreover, to be held in office at the head of government, to rule and do according to their wills, that they might get gain and glory of the world, that they might the more easily steal and kill and do according to their own wills. And behold, now it came to pass that it was upon a tower which was in the garden of Nephi, which was by the highway which led to the chief market, which was in the city of Zarahemla. Therefore, Nephi had bowed himself upon the tower. And it came to pass that there were certain men passing by and saw Nephi as he was pouring out his soul unto God upon the tower. And they ran and told the people what they had seen. And the people came together in multitudes that they might know the cause of so great mourning for the wickedness of the people. And now when Nephi arose, he beheld the multitudes of people who had gathered together. Behold, why have you gathered yourselves together? That I may tell you of your iniquities? Oh, how could you have forgotten your God in the very day that he has delivered you? But behold, it is to get gain, to be praised of men, yea, and that ye might get gold and silver. For if ye will not repent, behold this great city, yea, and also all those great cities which are round about shall be taken away. Woe shall come unto you because of that pride which ye have suffered to enter your heart. Seize upon this man and bring him forth, that he may be condemned according to the crime which he has done. Why do you suffer this man's revile against us? He doth condemn all this people, even unto destruction. And also that these our great cities shall be taken from us. We know that this is impossible, but behold, we are powerful and our cities great. Therefore, our enemies can have no power over us. No, no, let this man alone, for he is a good man, and those things which he saith will surely come to pass except we repent. All the judgments will come upon us. For we know that he has testified aright unto us concerning our iniquities. And behold, they are many. 
If he had not been a prophet, he could not have testified concerning those things. Even at this time, ye are ripening. Because of your murders and your fornication and wickedness. For everlasting destruction. Yea, and except ye repent, it will come unto you soon. Behold, it is now even at your doors. Yea, go ye in unto the judgment seat. And search. And behold, your chief judge is murdered and lieth in his blood. And he hath been murdered by his brother, who seeketh to sit in the judgment seat. And behold, they both belong to your secret band, whose author is Gadianton, and the evil one who seeketh to destroy the souls of men. Nephi, who is this man that hath done this murder? Now, tell us and acknowledge thy fault. money and also we will grant thee thy life if thou wilt tell us and acknowledge the agreement which thou hast made with him
ye blind and ye stiff-necked people. Do ye know how long the Lord your God will suffer you, that ye shall go on in this way of sin? Ye say that I have agreed with a man that he should murder Sizoram, our chief judge. This is because I have testified unto you that I did know of the wickedness and abominations which are among you. And because I showed unto you this sign, ye are angry with me and seek to destroy my life. And now, behold, I will show unto you another sign. And see if ye will, in this thing, seek to destroy me. Go to the house of Siantum, who is the brother of Sizorum, what is the meaning and of this? say Why unto him, Has Nephi, the pretended prophet, who doth prophesy so much evil concerning this people, Agreed with thee, in the which ye, in the which ye have murdered Sisorum, who is your brother. And behold, he shall say unto you, Nay. And ye shall say unto him, Have ye murdered your brother? And he shall stand with fear, and wist not what to say. Nay, I have not. And behold, he shall deny unto you, and he shall make as if he were astonished. I have not murdered Nevertheless, my Leave my home. he shall declare unto you that he is innocent. But examine him, and ye shall find blood upon the skirts of his cloak. And when ye have seen this, ye shall say, do we not know that this is the blood of your brother? And then shall he tremble, even as if death had come upon him. And then shall ye say, because of this fear which has come upon your face, we know that thou art guilty. And then shall greater fear come upon him. Yes. And then shall he confess unto you and deny no more that he has done this murder, but that I, Nephi, Nephi knows nothing more know nothing concerning the matter, the Lord may have save it were given unto me by the power of God. Shall ye know that I am an honest man, and that I am sent unto you from God. <laughs>